And Brett Sabre again trying to shut the door after a leadoff double. Strikes out Tony Clark. Scott Hatterberg drops the ball, throws to first for the putout. Sabre Hagen strike out the side. Bottom of the second, 2 nothing Sox. Two men on Brian Powell facing John Valentin. Got it. His 21st. 5 nothing Red Sox. Powell gave up five runs in the inning, all unearned. Bottom of the third, 5 nothing Sox still. No more Garcia Parra, rips one to right, Juan and Carcione. A lot of syllables involved in this play, and Carcione robs Garcia Parra. Dennis Eckersley in for the Red Sox, 6-2 Sox, Frank Catalanato. It's syllable night in uh, Fenway. Darren Bragg, one syllable. Nice catch. He's been doing this a lot lately. <laughs> Red Sox win. Full body massage. Down in the ball yard and the boogie down in a wild one. It's already 2-0 Jays. Joe Girardi takes one up the middle. Clemens barehands it and starts the 1-6-3 double play. He barehands this one with ease, but we'll see the next batter, Chuck Knobloch, sends the hot smash right back up the middle. And Clemens knocks that one down. He'd stay in the game, but it would affect him later. Later to the bottom of the fourth. Blue Jays now lead is 3-2. Ricky Lede takes him deep to right. Sean Green at the wall, makes the catch. Tino Martinez drops home to make it a 3-3 ball game. Next batter, Scott Brocious, feels Clemens' wrath. Takes it in the back. Clemens does not get a warning from home plate on Mike Riley, and that enrages Joe Torrey, who got ejected for the first time this season. He screams at Riley. Perhaps if you can see him reading his lips, he might say, do you remember Baltimore? But we'll have to find out later on. Hideki Arabu, first pitch of the top of the fifth, hits Shannon Stewart. How many times have we seen a pitcher charge the plate? <laughs> Folks come out of the benches and from the bullpens, and baseball still has no rule, outlawing this for whatever reason, and things get ugly. Don Zimmer would get tossed telling Riley, you should have given a warning, look what you started. Jose Canseco becomes enraged. Daryl Strawberry is in the middle of things against Baltimore. Throws a punch at Bill Risley. Let's go back to the game, shall we? Thankfully, no one was hurt, except Roger Clemens, whose hand would swell up. He left the game with a bruised palm, leaving the sixth. Tied it in the seventh at four against Hideki Arabu, Shannon Stewart. Irobu, yeah! Deep to right center, and gone. And the Blue Jays win this one five to four. A wild one. Roger Clemens does not get the win, but he doesn't get the loss either, so his... Crunch time. Abbott getting Enrique Wilson to ground to second. Ray Durham to throw home, and Mark Whitten is out. Two out now with Wilson on first. Abbott, his throw to first with Wilson running. Wilson tagged out at second. Two tried base running errors killing the inning. Bottom nine now. Fans on their feet. There's drama. 3-2 White Sox, 2-1-2 out. Bob Hurry striking Wilson out with a high heat. And the White Sox find a way and win 3-2. Jim Tone up the first. Jose Hernandez at third. Usually we set up that stat for another homer, but it's just a single. And we fooled you. Sammy now has 141 ribs in the season. At this juncture, it's 2-0 Cubs. 3-0 Cubs, top of the third. Fernando Vina grazed. But it's the 25th time this year he's been hit by a pitch. He'd score on a Mark Loretta double. Two on for Jeff Cirillo in the top of the third. Cirillo rips it in the right field corner. Mark Loretta scores. Dave Nilsson stops at third. That's Loretta scoring. You'll soon see Nilsson stop at third right there. Brewers to within 1-3-2. Next batter, Jeremy Burnitz. Say hello to my little friend. 34th homer of the year. He's got 116 ribs, most by any lefty in the NL this season. Brewers take a 5-3 lead. Up 7-3 now. Marquise Grissom grounds to first. Mark Grace is blocked. Nilsson scores. 8-3 Brewers. Bottom of the fifth, it's 10-5 for Sammy. Sammy hits a high drive. Deep right. That's number 59. All the way to Sheffield Avenue. That's Pat Hughes of WGN Radio. Bottom of the fifth still. Jeff Blauser pinch hitting with one on. This one is not gone just off. The Ivy Scott service scores on the triple by Blauser. Cubs within one, 10 9. It's 11 9, two on. Mark Loretta watches a pitch sail over his head from Terry Adams. Eric Plunk running the bases. It's 12 9 Brewers. Vina now at third. Loretta still batting. He's swinging and missing, but the pitch is wild again. It's 12 9, and the Brewers go on to win him usual 13 to 11 battle in Wrigley Field. Sammy hits 59, but
Wilton Guerrero grounds towards first. Carlos Baerga gets it and takes it himself. Matt Franco fielded wide or his right, forcing Baerga to win that race. Bottom of the six, two nothing Spose. Two on for Mike Mordecai up the middle off of Bobby Jones. Recovers, throws. Matt Franco can't handle it, loses his glove. Terry Jones scores, 3 0 Expos. Mordecai looks like he was a little out of the baseline. An error on Bobby Jones. It's 3 1 Expos, bottom of the eighth, when Vladimir Guerrero plays insurance man against Greg McMichael. Number 36 on the year, 22nd of the second half for Vladimir, 4 1 Expos. And then Fernando Senegal, or Senegal, pardon me, my bad, no fixes. <laughs> Expos win 5 1 on second all's first Major League homer. So the Expos have won three of their last four. Two is on first base. Charlie Hayes at the plate facing Jamie Wright. And he takes him to center field for a two run shot. His 11th of the year, 2 1 Giants. Top of the eighth, 6 4 Giants. Former Giant Daryl Hamilton hurts them. A deadline deal gone bad right there. He rips the Alvin Mormon pitch to right field. A three run shot, his sixth of the year. 7-6 Rockies, bottom of the nine, still 7-6. Man on for Ray Sanchez, lays down a bunt. Todd Helton feels it. Nice double play, and the Rockies win it. 7-6, they rally for a season-high sixth straight victory. Mystery. Juan Gonzalez, 149 RBIs on the season. He strikes out against Tony Saunders there. Gonzalez over four, his 20-game hitting streak is snapped, and he's stuck on 149. Ribby's more on that in just a second. Bottom of the seventh now, we're tied at two. Rich Butler against Todd Stottlemyre, who struggled as a Ranger. Butler cranks one into right center. Everybody's going to get on the horse and run. Mike Kelly. Mike Kelly coming in to score. Tampa Bay goes up 3-2. Top of the ninth now, it's still 3-2. The D-Rays with a tying run on second base. Roberto Hernandez. Luis Alicea, that's two outs. And then Lee Stevens. Stevens is observing, and he will now be asked to leave. 27th or 25th save, I should say, for Hernandez. The Devil Rays win it by Anaheim starting the night. Two games up on Texas. Bottom three. Angels up 3 0. Here's Eric Davis against Chuck Finley. ED, 385 for his career against Finley. That's his 27th job, and we're tied at three. The next man is Rafael Palmero. He has 409 against Finley, and not the size of the stick. It's all about finding the sweet spot, but Rafael has a big one. Home run number 42. It's a 4-3 game. The Orioles on top. It's 5 3 O's. Base is juiced for Davis one more time. Getting some good wood. Two runs score. Davis two for four, five ribbies. Then Palmero again. An RBI knock. Orioles up 8-3. Palmero four for four. A couple of RBIs. That'd be plenty for Scott Erickson. Keeping it down. Greg Jeff. Four, six, three. 19 ground outs. Did Erickson coax on the night. Eighth inning, Jim Evans back up the middle. Mike Bordick, nice turn by Rebele, getting the pair. And then in the ninth, Erickson, Matt Wallbeck to third, Cal Ripken around the horn we go. Complete game for Erickson. 23 of his 27 outs coming on ground outs or strikeouts. I do some quick math in my head that tells me. Allen strikes out big red. Mack one for four with a single on the night. Score tight at two. Things kind of get ugly for the Cardinals. Derek Bell grounds back to Matt Morris. Throws to Placido Polanco with the out at second. Throw back to first. Low, not in time. Inning continues. Take a look at it again. A good hard slide by Carl Everett. And this is something that's killed the Cardinals all year. They cannot turn double plays. Two batters later, Moises Alou. I'll tell you, if there was no Sammy Sosa, there's your MVP. Doubling into the corner, Derek Bell would score. Don't tell me about Mark McGuire right now. Astros lead 3-2. to two. two batters later, Ricky Gutierrez adds to the demolition, the double. Jeff Bagwell scores, Moises Alou would score. The Astros scores six times in the eighth to break it open, with Alou scoring his 100th run of the year. The Flyers are coming up. Pirates down one think Jason Kendelov, runners on the corners, the liner. Tony Womack would score on that to tie the game. Now keep your eye on the second baseman. Right now, Mark Lewis. Lewis is going to throw the ball right into the... Oh, the second base umpire, Charlie Williford, is wondering, what the heck were you thinking, Mark? It's time to get new contacts. Here's another look. You can feel the pain by Charlie. But he laughs. He's 